Hi guys, I'm Grapper here, and this is my Raid Shadow Legends Diary. First and foremost, please like and subscribe now. Please subscribe to the channel. Yesterday, I missed out on the day just because you know how work is. Full-time job, so you gotta... Sometimes you can't make videos. <laughs> In any case, so now I am back, and I actually put up a video before, and I got a reply um, about which... Uh, champion I should six star now and it was coming between Seeker and Silar. now Silar, I think is going to be more useful in PvE content let me go ahead and go through this um, because of everything being an AoE attack so she has AoE attack on all enemies which is why I have her in a stun set because it gives us eight gives an 18% chance to play stun which honestly seems like it does more than 18% to me but hey I'm not complaining um, on array 2 attacks all enemies has an 80% chance of placing a 50% decrease accuracy debuff for 2 turns which is good in spider's den but good in general for pve content and then lead and legs places a 30% decrease speed on all enemies for 2 turns decreases the turn meter of all enemies by 40% which is incredible on a 4 turn cooldown when booked and then her aura doesn't uh, faction wars whatever um, which is incredible absolutely incredible however amazo who actually doesn't even really play this game but enjoys the content shout out thank you for enjoying the content i really appreciate it um he said that i should go with seeker seeker's defense based or says defense even though the damage here says it's attack they're doing it again i hate it when they do this stuff but anyway i won't go into that again for another video um devour level one Attacks one enemy two times has a 25% chance of placing a provoke debuff for one turn. That can be booked up to a 50% chance and then you get another 30% of de uh, damage on that. This one, Tailwind, fills the turn meter of all allies by 30%. That's awesome. Places a 50% increased attack buff on all, on all allies for two turns. That's awesome. Thank God it's not on all enemies. That would suck. Um, that is really good. That is really, really good. And then heals this champion by 20% uh, by 20% HP and places a 60% increased defense buff on all allies when hit with a critical hit. So he does seem awesome. And uh, he would be more useful in my mind in PvP in the arena. And I'm struggling in the arena. Like I think everyone is at this point, but I feel like I need to deepen my arena roster. I've gotten through the pve content in terms of dungeons they haven't released the new dungeon levels yet but i'm down to 20 on all of them they just take a while but i'm starting to feel like silar will be absolutely next but i think i'm gonna go ahead and six star seeker now simply because i think that he's going to be really really useful in the arena amazo without having any biases or anything that was the direction that um he said i should go so i think that's where i'm gonna go yeah why not I said, put a comment below about where you think I should go. That's where you said. So I'm going to go in this direction. So I'm going to go ahead and six star seeker. Let's go ahead and do this real quick lock. And I have more chickens. And actually I do have, um, I do almost have five other champions ready to feed. So I'll do Silar relatively soon once I get those other five ready. Because once I get Razin, that's where I want. I want to immediately six star him. All right. So. Six star, ascend, Naqua. Oh, well, do I have enough money to mix this potion? I need to mix a potion anyway for one of my requirements to get Arbiter. So let's do that. So now fully ascend it, six star. That works. Um, okay. Now the next, I'll go ahead and level up a bit. To, well, let's see. Should I change the gear first and then level up or level up first and change the gear? Because that's going to destroy all of my silver uh let's check the gear first now given where seeker is i think i want speed 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 and the other skills i mean landing the provoke would be cool but i'm not going to really focus on that i like the increased defense i like the so i think i want to put him in all speed right um this gear is not the best in the world 
This is attack percentage. So first things first, let's see if I have some speed boots out here. Speed boots, hopefully in a speed set. Uh, no speed boots. Oh, the Swift Parry plus, see, I haven't put anyone in Swift Parry in a while. My, um, my apothecary used to be in Swift Parry before I even knew what Swift Parry really would do. And then I removed it and put him in something else. Swift Parry might be a good option here. Gives plus 18% speed, plus 30% crit damage, and a 50% chance to place an unkillable. And I always say, or always think to myself how much I love Swift Parry. I just never, ever put it on. You know what? Let's see. What Swift Parry gear do I have? Let's remove all that. I should have a ton of it, I think. And you know what? Let's go ahead and retract all this gear and see what kind of Swift Parry gear I have. All right, so these boots, HP based. Let's see here, HP on the chest. Um, I think I want him to be able to do some damage, right? His base attack is so low though. Um, so the gloves are HP and HP gloves. Urgh. Then we have this attack. You know what? Let's do a substats filter for speed. Go back to Swift Perry, see if any of those have speed on them. Hello. All right, so Swift Perry, substat speed. I have, I have sword, that's a six star, shield, that's a six star. I already have a 12, level 12 defense, or de level 12 shield with speed on it that's not a lot of speed so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and i kind of want to roll these up real quick to see if any of the sub stats land on it and then i'm gonna go ahead and put this helmet on i know it's the only helmet i have with speed on it so i'll equip that do that now so much silver um this is six star anyway should i really be that picky over it i really want to roll it up all right so what i'm going to do is i know you guys don't want to watch me roll up this stuff real quick so i'm going to cut here and i'll be right back in a second all right all right all right so we got lucky on the on the sword on the weapon so we're going to equip that both of the rolls went to speed so that'll increase speed then we got quasi lucky on the shield one of them landed there so we'll go ahead and equip that as well and so now we're looking at, now let me go ahead and get those boots. Boom. I hate that it does this, just stay collapsed. I don't need you to do all this for me. All right, so anyway, um, there we go. All right, so let's go back. Let's go ahead and equip these boots. Nope, nope, those have speed on them. Those are the only ones that have speed on them, right? Yeah, so we'll go with this, equip that. That's what's up now. So we got speed on the chest. There is attack percentage is a four star and there's attack on the gloves. It's another four star his base crit. Do I really need him to do crit damage or do I just want him to be able to attack? I don't think I'm going to be able let's check the other weapons. Crit damage is there. Crit rate 5%, 11% crit rate. Let's see what I can do in terms of attack percentage on the chest, if there's crit, crit rate on that, and then if so, then I'll put crit rate on the gloves. Um, Cause I do not think I'm gonna be able to get 100% crit rate just from the sub stats here. So crit rate percentage, sub stat. Let's go for speed or divine speed. There's nothing there. Oh, divine, oh, divine speed, that's a five star. With attack percentage, that's what's up. Gotta love that. So, and that's already up to level 12. Uh, with accuracy on it and everything. All right, so we'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully, while I'm doing that, I just realized I should probably check to see if I have any divine speed gloves at all. I'm just, I'm just getting too excited, just dumping stuff everywhere. All right, let's see if I have divine speed gloves gauntlets. I do, they're 12, they're HP, ugh, ugh, should I break up the set? I want that speed, I want that 12% speed though. 
Ugh, and I don't have anything else there. It's just the straight up gloves. Straight up gauntlets. Let's see, equipped. Does anybody here have divine speed that doesn't deserve it? I mean, jar rag? What is it? Defense, though. And I'm going to leave those on Doom Priest. And Madam Saris, of course, deserves it because Madam Saris is awesome. So then do I put HP? I mean, HP isn't a bad thing. Man, I was just about to be really happy. Okay. Um, let's see if I have anything with attack percentage on it as a set. All right. So we have, we have, we have, we have speed, like a tune and on Dilgal. Oh, but that's four star. So never mind there. Uh, doesn't look like I'm not really worried about crit rate. And those just have, yeah, those are like just basic stuff. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to have to go with those HP just because I prefer the speed over breaking up the set. I mean, if it was something that was worth it, but it doesn't like anything that's worth it. And there's not another like two set piece that I think is even worth bothering divine crit rate that would give me 15 12% crit rate on top of that with attack percentage I'm not so sure that's worth it I really feel like I should just stick with like just put the HP on and then hope to God someday soon I get oh there's the attack percentage chat is on soulbound boyer well I like her so I can stay there um Mm. am I really about to do this do I want to break up the set and find some attack percentage gloves with speed on them or well let's see I put attack percentage and if there's one that has like a sub status speed I mean ugh. yeah that divine crit rate but that's not going to boost my crit rate up enough to be that's not going to boost my crit rate up enough to be 100%. So at that point, it's not really worth it to me, you know? If that was going to be the difference, then I get it. But that's not going to be the difference. So I'm thinking I'm just going to keep the divine set together. Get that 12% boost of speed. I'm only at like, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the speed. Because my speed is real low and I'm trying to get him for arena anyway. So I feel like I'll sacrifice the attack for the speed since he speeds up the entire team, you know? So that'll be the plan. That will be the plan. Um, where are we going here? Back to the primary stats. We'll take that off. We will go down here to divine speed. And yeah, just take the HP. And it has accuracy, so I guess it's not that bad. But I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to take, this is 16. It has accuracy on it. There's a question, because he has that provoke. But I don't really care about the provoke either, but this is already, it has speed on it. And the accuracy. Do I care about the attack that much? There's the next question. Do I care about this 8% attack that has speed on it as well? Oh. Or do I prefer the, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm about to cut again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut again and roll this up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and replace this because I know this is the route I'm going. I'm going to roll this up a little bit and see if any of those land on speed. So cut. Be right back. How lame is this? Both of them landed on the flat attack substat. And I don't want to try to take this thing up to 12 just to maybe get speed. And this already has one roll of speed on it. Plus the accuracy. Ooh. decisions 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 i feel like either way it's the wrong decision you know what is this what the hell with the flat attack yeah if you don't get out of my face um i guess i'm gonna go with attack percentage i mean but i need sp i want speed all right i'm gonna quit this one plus i don't have to roll it so that just saves me oh no 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 no, no. What, are you, what am i doing what am i doing what am i doing did I already equip this one? 
Am I losing my mind over here? Oh, I did already equip this one. It had crit rate accuracy. Da -da -da. So I'd already equipped it. I'm a, hey, you guys just saw me go crazy. I just lost my mind a little bit. Well, then that means this is already equipped with, wait, no, but this is, um, well, then here's the other thing. Should I go ahead and add this just to get that extra five speed? Not really. Or the extra nine speed is going to cost me 50 K. So I guess I'll just wait on that and his speed will be at 173, which is not going to be enough. But since I have speed boots that I can roll up, that'll get me a whole lot more speed. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the accessories real quick. I've been on this a lot longer than I expect it to be. Um, do accessories, accessories don't even have speed as a primary stat. Do they have them as a sub stat? Yeah, just not any of my, well, just this one with HP on it, man. So I guess I should just go primary and attack. This one already has a roll up to 12 with defense, crit damage and resistance. See, this is the real struggle. This is what happens when you're not a whale and you're not gonna spend a bunch of money on the game. You're having to make all these stupid calls about what you're gonna actually do. All right, so he's attacked. His, his A1 is based on attack, despite the fact that they say he's a defensive champion. I don't even know what, what that's supposed to mean at this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the best look here, I guess is this one. We'll have to roll these up, of course. Wait, what is this one? The one that I already have on them is defense with 14% attack. Huh? So if I put this one on them, I mean, once I roll it up, it'll be fine. Yeah, fine. I'll just equip this. Because his base attack is so low anyway. Like, it's really low. Oh, but I haven't rolled, I haven't leveled them up yet at all either, so... All right, and then HP attack here, attack there, and then this does not matter. It's just a, all right, so let's equip that. Six star attack with accuracy, okay, fine. I feel like I'm not doing this the right way if I'm being completely honest, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this route. Oh, this has attack percentage on it anyway, so I'll take that, put that on there. And then as far as the banner, I only have two choices, HP with flat attack, um, defense with flat attack. So let's just go defense with flat attack since it's already rolled up. And this is him there. So this is the seeker, the way I built him. Next we'll be putting him into the Minotaur, getting those masteries and leveling him up. And of course, leveling up the gear. So I'm gonna leave it here because I didn't even extend for this video to go this long, um, quite frankly. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I don't I don't know why you would have enjoyed that. That was just me rambling through all the crap I have and struggling to just get him geared up. So we'll go ahead and do that very quickly because I'm too impatient to do the whole run in the campaign. I think we have a champion training event going on right now. If we don't, I don't know. I don't care really, blah, blah, blah. So let me just burn the rest of my silver to make things even more difficult on myself because patience is not a thing that I have. So, and I think this will be the last batch that I'll be able to put up on them. And I have a couple more. So yeah, and I'll have enough brews to actually take him all the way to 60 without having to run him in campaign, which running him in campaign is probably a smarter way to go about it, but I'm trying to reserve that energy so I can put the masteries on him. So in any case, not enough for that. So I will have him hopefully level 60 tomorrow and then have some of his gear worked out and some of his masteries ready to go. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.